In today's video, I have a quick tip for you. Check your air conditioning drain lines. If they get plugged up, you're likely to get a lot of water under your carpeting and it'll start to stink. We found out the hard way the other day. We went on a month long road trip around the country, middle of summer, we were using our AC like crazy and noticed uh, towards the end of the trip that the van started to smell pretty funky. We couldn't find the source of the smell until we got home and noticed that the carpeting under the floor mats uh, was pretty wet. So here's what I found. I've got the carpeting pulled back and hanging up with bungee cords to the grab handles on top, airing out. I've had this uh, airing out now for a couple days with a fan inside. But you can get a better idea of what's going to happen with the, all the extra water when the drain line is plugged. So here we've got a pair of ducts, this duct and one on the other side, and it's taking AC air uh, to underneath the front seats, dumping out for uh, second row passenger uh, comfort. And these ducts uh, are the next path for all that water to drain out of the AC unit. Uh, so what will happen is these start filling up with water and it's all sealed here and this lower chamber uh, fills with water and then uh, you can actually hear gurgling when uh, the, if the fan is on high and it's pumping air through here and it's just kind of gurgling through the water. And the water starts spitting out the backside. And when it's high enough, it'll start dribbling out the front side. And a lot of water collects in this, this whole front area. I vacuumed up uh, about a gallon of water, and then plus the water I dumped out of each of those ducts. The ducts are held in place with a retainer clip over here. Uh, I pop the top off this and then this just lifts out. Um, and then this duct is, is free and it's uh, free to lift out. It's just got a slip fit at the front end and this comes right out. And then they go back in. Pretty easily, and you just pop this in and then press that down. All set. Okay, to get to the drain line, uh, here this panel has to be removed. Uh, these little retain, there's one retainer clip. Um, I've got this tool that makes it easy, but it could be popped out with a screwdriver as well. So let me get this out of the way. This clip. Uh, Looks like a typical clip. It's got a little uh, through slot in the head. And so that's useful for using like a screwdriver. Then this panel pops off like that. There's little tabs that kind of line up with stuff here. The drain line is right here. You can pull it off of the box. And then what I like to do is my new process is using compressed air and simply uh, blowing like that and it's clear and you can put it back together. So let's put that on the spigot. Put the panel in place. Uh, let's see if I can light it up like that. And then push the retainer clip back in the hole and that's it. I don't want to ever have to go through that again so I've decided I'm going to check my drain line each year. It's easy to do, uh, not a big deal. So that's it for this video. I hope this has been useful for some of you and we'll see you next time. I thought I'd mention the uh, product I used for de-stinking our car uh, this is uh, an unsolicited recommendation. I bought this stuff myself. Uh, Hex Performance. Uh, it's a uh, Baltimore company. Um, 
hadn't seen it before. I did read a couple online evaluations. It looked really good, so I thought I'd give it a try, and I think it worked fantastically. It's got a nice, uh, I don't know, apple-y smell. Very subtle, but um, really pleasant. So it, it just it attacked the stink, and now things are smelling sweet. So there you go, give it a try. Uh, I like this product. One other product that I used uh, for the service was this silicone lubricant made by Johnson's. It's a Texan company. I don't know anything about them really. I just had it in the garage, but I thought I'd just mention that using a silicone lubricant uh, for the drain line where it plugs back into the AC box, uh, it makes it go on uh, easily and helps with uh, pulling it off in the future. The first time you pull the AC line off, uh, it, it can be kind of stuck. It, it takes a little bit of wiggling to get it off. But if you have a little bit of uh, lubricant, uh, silicone's good for rubber. Um, it'll make future servicing uh, really easy. And uh, I recommend any kind of silicone, but this is the one I used.